Hello, this is Entspeak, and this is a follow-up video to my last one regarding what I thought was a planet orientation bug, um, and I've come to learn that that's not exactly the case. Um, let me first show you what I've got here. Um, basically, this what I've done is I've created um, two worlds, one with default settings, one with settings that fix the, the issue. So I have found a workaround to this issue. Uh, for both issues, for the issue of, of planet orientation and axial tilt, and also to the problem of sun rotation, thanks to another player named RKR Loadbeard, who realized that you could um, change the direction in which the sun travels uh, via the config files uh, for the saves. So, uh, let me start by showing you what... Um, this is this is the up tile for my planet Mercury. I have added to the height map the word up. I've done that for all six, so you can see where each tile sits, um, and we can get a really good uh, indicator of the issue. So going into the world, we will go to the default first and load this. I have also created. Um, GPS points for the closest I could get to the pole on the surface and also the plus y negative y plus x negative x plus z minus z axes uh, in the world at about 65,000 kilometers which is just outside just above the surface of the planet that is also set at about zero uh, in the grid so if we're here now we can see these are axes. You can see the Y is right above us. Um, I am standing, turn the light on, on the northern pole, uh, which is about as close as I can get to that Y axis on the surface. Uh, we can see the sun is coming. But the first thing you notice is that the sun is going, A, it's going the wrong way, uh, and that this is the northern pole, and it is getting a whole lot of sun. And that is, if you look here, you can see there's the northern pole. There's the sun. And it's just going, because that is because there's about um, a 33 degree tilt. Um, or, or it's a perceived tilt to the planet. And that is that, that because it's not actually tilting the planet, uh, what Space Engineers has done is changed the sun's path. And the angle at which it around which it, it rotates the pl around the planet, um, and it's a rather extreme angle. 33 degrees is pretty extreme for a perceived axial tilt. Um, the Earth, in real life, is tilted about 23 degrees uh, toward the sun um, as it orbits and and as it rotates the um, you know, this sort of thing will happen, but on a much, much less drastic scale. Uh, so this is pretty extreme. And, and the problem is that not every planet in the system has an axial tilt um, or has much of an axial tilt. Uh, Mercury has a two degree axial tilt. So I, I didn't even worry about it when um, creating the height maps. Um, didn't feel the need to account for it. It's so small. Uh, and the problem that this creates is with things like, here, let me come down here, uh, longitudinal and latitudinal biome references, which are tied to this pole, to the Y pole uh, that runs through the center of the planet north to south. The, um, you know, the, the, the ones that place ice or snow on the, on the poles as opposed to the equator, um, are based on this, and so you end up with uh, ice caps that sh really should be melting um, if you look at the Earth-like, and the equator is very close to the poles. Uh, and for Mercury, what this has done is um, created a problem for these craters here, um, because what I did in trying to create an accurate representation of Mercury in space engineers was I followed uh, a lot of NASA information and they have discovered that in the deepest craters near the poles uh, ice forms because the Sun never sees the bottom of these craters and this is the deepest crater at the northern pole uh, it's cut right now 
sliced through by the up, but um, this is it. And we'll see when the sun comes again, we will see the ice here. I can probably, I wonder if I can, no. Okay, we'll just wait for the sun. It'll be here in a minute. Here it comes. And there's the ice. Now, this should not be getting this sun. Not at all. Uh, and it's it's kind of frustrating to have spent all this work trying to create these height maps with this level of detail and accurate information to have it come in game and not be accurately represented is a bit frustrating. Um, but thankfully, there is a workaround. Hopefully, uh, the other problem that's, that is here, obviously, is that the sun is setting in the east and rising in the west, which is, uh, in the real world, not how it works. <laughs> For every planet but Venus, because Venus is, rotates the other way. Um, it's the only planet in the system that rotates the other way. Uh, so, yes, this is a problem. So, and, and there's a workaround for this as well, but I think it probably should be something that Keen should pay attention to and fix because it, it really is, if, for anybody interested in immersion, this is just really bizarre to see the sun rising this way. So I'm, I'm now going to uh, exit this and show you the fix. And again, a lot of this fix is based on work done by RKR Loadbeard, um, who got his idea how to fix it from, um, he was looking for fixes and came across an earlier video that I did on this, uh, but he then found a solution um, that fixes all, all of these problems, which is great. It's a workaround though, uh, and you have to go in and edit the save in order to get this to happen. So if we go into the fixed version, I'm going to wait for this to load. Um, here we go, and we're here back on Mercury in the same spot. You can see I am at the northern pole, the Y is above us, and the sun is going the right way, east to west, and it is also uh, traveling along the horizon as it would uh, in real life. And that is a vast difference. You can see now where that terminator for the shadows are right there. And if I go down to that very crater that I was discussing earlier, which I believe is somewhere over here. Where is that bad boy? There it is. We go here. Let's see if I can... I thought that... Yeah, the light will come on. Whoop! Too far. There's the ice in perpetual darkness, just as it should be. Now, ideally, in a perfect world, what we would be able to do as planet modders or anybody pasting in a planet is to be able to control the rotation of the planet, uh, have the ability to choose an axial tilt if we want it, um, and have the planet itself be rotated in that way. I don't know whether that's feasible. Um, it's preferable because then you can have planets with different axial tilts and, um, you know, that would be kind of cool, but... I can understand it's not. So, um, but more importantly is to get the sun going the right way, as it is here. And it would be nice if the def this was the default, that it rotated along this axis um, rather than at the angle it was going, um, which probably works well in something like medieval engineers, where you're trying to recreate seasons. Um, for things, and maybe you have it move that way. Uh, but for space engineers, well, me medieval engineers only has one world, and you can't leave it. So, you know, with this, you can, and uh, you have many worlds that may 
want to have different axial tilts. People may want to get creative and have a world on its side, um, but still have, you know, be able to control um, biomes and things like that if they can. But this, um, so I think this would be a great default to have it set to rotate in in this way, the right direction along the uh, x, uh, z axes, um, rotating around the y in like this. Now the fix, the workaround um, is is here. Let me pull this up. Um, okay. All right, that's because I saved it. Uh, this is the fixed version. Let me go to the default version. This is base sun direction. This is the path. Uh, this is the the uh, uh, tag, the, the data that the game uses to determine the um, axis around which the sun rotates. Um, and as you can see, that's it's pretty crazy. Um, so in order to get to rotate around the... Um, the y-axis, this was the setting that was used. And again, I get this from RKR load beard. 0, 0, negative 1. What this does is it sets when you load the game, and I, I believe this is what it will be if you have sun rotation off, uh, it puts the sun facing the negative z, um, on and facing the negative z-axis, which is facing the front of the planet the front tile, um, which is exactly what you want it to do. Uh, so there's that change. Um, and then to get it going the right direction, um, you have sun rotation here, yes. Sun rotation interval minutes. The default, find it here, is I have it sped up to one rotation. Uh, it's it's a minute. It takes a minute to go around uh, the planet. But this is the default direction in the positive direction. Um, and to fix the, the sun direction, you have to change it to a negative. Now, of course, if you go into, as RKR Loadbeard informed me, if you then go into the Alt F12 and try and make any adjustments um, using the debug menu or whatever menu that is, um, it will reset this to the positive and you'll have to go back and change it. So you can't change, you have to basically change the speed here uh, in order to get it going in the right direction at the speed at which you want to go. Um, so that's the changes to the at, uh, sandbox at SBC. Um, and then when you go to sandbox 00.sbs, 000.sbs, this is the sun azimuth and the sun elevation. Sun azimuth is a the angle of the sun in, in um, as compared to uh, angle in, in regard to a particular reference plane. I'm not sure what that plane is, um, but it doesn't make any difference to me at the moment. I may find out more. But uh, and sun elevation, I believe, is uh, um, uh, the angle above or below the equator. I think. So what I've done, and this again is based on RKR Loadbeard's um, video that he posted about um, the sun, and he didn't really talk about this, but um, I saw it. So I, I changed it to this, set the uh, sun elevation to zero. Done and done. And what this allows you to do, it allows everybody to do, is to create star systems that actually work like they should, or like they would in real life, in that virtually every system has its planets on an ecliptic, on an ecliptic plane, which means they go around the same, basically the same way around the sun on, the, on a disk. Um, and in trying to recreate our solar system, um, again, virtually all the planets do this. Uh, so it's nice to be able to recreate in the, in the system. So my hope is that somebody at Keen will take a look at this and change <laughs> the sun or change the code so that you can have a positive number and actually have the sun go the right way so you don't have to edit the save in order to get the sun to go the right direction a realistic direction um, and would also set the sun path to um, 
to work as it should, uh, as it has uh, in the past. Because there was a moment um, a few weeks ago where this was not a problem. It was a problem, then it was not a problem, and now that problem is back again. So that's, I guess, I wonder if, if somebody just decided not to do it, um, did it and decided not to do it, or, or changed it and then suddenly inadvertently changed it back. But it would be good to have it work this way as the default. That's my spiel. Um, thank you to RKR Loadbeard for his work um, in this. I'm, I'm now going to be able to go back and, and recreate my Mercury to Ceres world with irrational uh, ecliptic pain plane because trying to create one based on the default sun was a nightmare. Uh, and adding planets to it and trying to calculate where they would be is a nightmare. Having it this way, much easier because you can say the X and the Z are zero and just basically work with the Y. And if you want anything above and below the ecliptic, you work with the, um, <coughs> the Z axis. So um, that's, again, that's my spiel. And um, I hope something can be done with it. I would appreciate it. I'm sure others would as well, um, as it's become apparent to me that I'm not the only one with this issue uh, or sees this as an issue. Um, somebody else saw it as an issue and took the time to make a video about it as well. So that's it. Thank you very much.